Oh well, guys, this is Mark Saint for Brazil Subtitled Podcast, the first one uh, on the channel, the first one, the first podcast ever. So uh, the podcast is something I've been meaning to to make for the channel because I think this is a good way for me to bring to you guys what's going on in Brazil in a deeper and longer way, right? Through a podcast, we can discuss uh, things that are um, interesting about the country. Uh, we have more time for this, of course, and uh, the editing is something that is is not is, is something that takes too much time, I believe. So the format of the podcast allows us to discuss things that are um, interesting, bring debates for the channel that the video won't allow us. So I, I'm still trying to figure out how often this is going to happen. But if you are a subscriber to the channel on YouTube, so just keep an eye on the notifications for you to see how often this is going to happen. Okay. As a first podcast, I'd like uh, to bring you guys uh, a daily roundup. Okay. I want to talk about the most important news of the day, just reminding you guys that we are on the 5th of April, 2021. We are in the middle of the worst pandemic this world has ever seen, as far as my history allows me to say, of course. Um, I believe in the modern times, this is by far the worst. This is hands down the worst uh, pandemic we've ever faced. So. Uh, what is the situation in Brazil right now? And I'm going to to update you guys. So in the past 24 hours, we've had 1,623 deaths, unfortunately. And we've had, uh, we now add, add up to 13 million cases here in Brazil. So 13 million infected. That's the point, okay? Uh, we also have a positive thing. We have 20 million people that have received the first dose of the vaccine. 20 million people is a good number. It's not enough. We need more, of course. But just want to remind you guys, we have a president who hasn't done much to face the pandemic from day one. Okay, I know I will receive a lot of criticism for what I'm saying right now. But we have a guy who, from the, the very first beginning, uh, has said that th this was just a minor flu. If you were an athlete, if you ate well, you would go through this easily. So people felt empowered to go to the streets and to pretend nothing was going on. So the results is right there. Okay, so I believe most of these vaccinations is due to the hard efforts of the government of Sao Paulo. Uh, of course, headed by the governor, João Doria. He is uh, a possible rival to President Bolsonaro on the next election that happens in 2022. Uh, so they both have transformed this this uh, situation in a political dispute, even though João Doria doesn't admit this, but you can feel uh, they are always attacking one another, which is not good, right? So another thing that we have to talk about the news of the day is the astronaut from Japan. This is really interesting. The guy has said hello to the Brazilians. He has send his regards to the Brazilian people from the ISS. He recorded a video by saying, he recorded a video saying that uh, uh, he shared his love to the Brazilian people in the hard moment, the hardship we've been facing. And he also mentioned the biggest Japanese community living in Brazil, which happens to be the biggest Japanese community out of Japan. Right, uh, it's I'm talking about the community that lives in Liberdade, a neighborhood here in São Paulo, that is our Chinatown. If you want to learn a little bit more about it, we have a video on the channel. 
uh, about liberdade. Um, just go check it out. Okay, it's a video I recorded with my family there. And it's a video that I receive a lot of good comments. So I think it's pretty interesting for you guys to see. For you guys to see. So another thing that I want to talk to you about on this night specifically is that uh, now still getting back to the vaccines um, the guys are vaccinating the police officers and and the, the security people usually the, the civil and the military police as well as the teachers so now initiates a new phase where the teachers will be immunized mm. But guys, the age the the country has been vaccinated now, I think it's 68. So we are far away from from uh, immunizing the whole the whole society, which is a shame. So in the meantime, we need to to keep uh, inside our, our homes. So they have expanded the the period of lockdown, even though they say it's not a lockdown. But we have the stores closed. We have cinemas, churches are all closed. And uh, it's going to be like that, and schools as well. It's going to be like that until the 14th of uh, April, right? Another big discussion that I saw today was that they were fighting to see if they reopened the schools or not. I, I can't believe this is even a, a topic for discussion. Uh, with this number of infected and this number of deaths, it, this shouldn't be an issue, right? Everybody should understand that schools have to remain closed. Kids have to remain having online classes. That's the price we have to pay. That's what my daughter is doing, for example. So, incredible. It's incredible that sometimes these things they 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 are put on the table as if it were rational you know so uh, i think it has gotten to the brazilian supreme court which will decide on it on wednesday unbelievable unbelievable in the meantime we have a few soccer games taking place i'm not sure they they are happening in every because now it's the the season of the the state championship so sao paulo has its own championship rio uh minas gerais rio grande do sul and so on so i'm not sure if uh, all of these championships are having their games held i can see here that um some of them are and they have no fans of course on the stadium so um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, <clears throat> another thing that I found interesting to to talk about is the fact that Brazilians prefer to save their money in the savings account, not in any investments or stocks. Uh, it doesn't surprise me. I think the it, you have very few Brazilians who have read and studied about the stock market and prefer to risk and, and try uh, their luck or try to get some gains from the stock market. So most of Brazilians don't even save, let alone a savings account. So if you have money in your savings account, it's already an advantage. And while I'm talking, Flamengo has just scored the fourth goal. If you are a Flamenguista, like my friend Kevin and my friend uh, Tony, I guess, from, from England, so uh, if you, as you guys are Flamenguistas, you might be happy. 4-0 against a team that I don't know the name. Let me see. Madureira. Madureira, yes. So 4-0 in the local, the, the Carioca Championship. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed this, this podcast, the first one um, here on the channel. Suggest what do you what you want me to talk about during this period, and I'll be here uh, bringing your requests. Okay, putting your requests into practice. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you if you have followed this on the channel. Thank you very much for watching as well, and I'll see you next time.